Yo guys, it's your boy Prince Patel and I'm going to talk to you guys about the Josh Taylor Jack Cottrell massive fight that happened and where I think they go next. Um, first of all, everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about the result of the fight because 99% of people had Jack Cottrell beating Josh Taylor in their 140 pound undisputed match. It was someone's O had to go. Um, Josh Taylor, I think, was 18 and 0 at the time. Jack Cottrell was 26 and 0 at the time. Uh, it's a shame, really, because literally everyone that I've seen has said Jack Cottrell should be undisputed world champion right now. And it's a shame because, especially because of the way the build up went and their careers have gone, Jack Cottrell's fought on the small shows, he's built himself up. Um, he's been given op a couple of opportunities. He stepped aside while Josh Taylor could unify the belts and become undisputed champion to be 15 months without fighting himself. And he gets to fight Josh Taylor and does everything he's supposed to do, but doesn't get the decision. He dropped Josh Taylor in the process. He was given a point deduction himself, but so was Josh Taylor. I just don't understand how the judges personally myself gave the decision to Josh Taylor. While well, well, one judge gave it to Jack Cottrell and two gave it to Josh. I think it's just embarrassing really. Um, you you can't justify how Josh Taylor won. That's just my opinion. Josh Taylor's still a world-class fighter. He still achieved a lot more than 99.5% of people in professional boxing. But I believe he was beaten by Jack Cottrell. Now the thing is with Jack is, I remember him when we were younger. We were both the same age. He was in the same schoolboys in 2008. Uh, schoolboys that I won, he got to the quarters or semis, I think it was. Cut long story short, he's obviously built his record up, done what he's had to do, he got himself to a position. He's obviously now lost. In two weeks time, people are gonna forget about him being robbed. In 20 years time, people are not even gonna remember he got robbed. They're just gonna be like, oh, Josh Taylor beat Jack Cottrell in a Scotland v England undisputed match where someone's O had to go in a massive, massive match. No one's going to remember this and it's a shame really because when you train as a kid, you, you, you train, the training is bad enough, it's hard enough as it is, but then to actually go in the ring and do what you're supposed to do, which is win and not get the decision, it's got to hurt, it's definitely got to hurt. The thing is, is one of the judges who had it the widest is a former participant of the game. He's, he's competed as a professional boxer. He's he must know what it feels like as a fighter. He must know the sacrifices made as a fighter to try and get to that level. And um, he had it the widest. Um, I don't know, maybe he saw it slightly different sitting ringside compared to what I saw watching at home and what thousands and thousands of others saw watching at home. But yeah, he had his, he had his opinion. But a lot of people were saying to me on Twitter, they were saying that maybe the judges got drawn in to what the crowds are doing. But what I was saying was, this isn't schoolboy junior ABA level London final judging. This is world class level judging and refereeing. You, it, it, this is basically the WrestleMania or boxing. You're, you're dealing for all the marbles, all the gold is on the line. And you'd expect it to be judged by the very best in the world and stuff. And for them to, people use the excuse of maybe they were drawn in by the crowd. That's not good enough for me. That's definitely not good enough for me. Next point I want to bring up is, will the British Boxing Board who sanctioned the event, will they investigate this? I've never yet seen the British Boxing Board of Control investigate any matches. One match that did happen in the UK that I know of that was changed into a no contest was when Charlie Edwards dived on the floor against Julio Cesar Martinez and uh, the WBC actually forced them to put that as a no contest and they ordered, an, they ordered an immediate rematch for the world title but Charlie vacated the world title and gave up and pretty much said, pretty much said no mas because he didn't want to fight the guy again. Other than that, I've never seen the British Boxing Board of Control ever change the decision um, but that wasn't even them changing the decision, that was the WBC that changed the decision. Okay, so what happens next now? I personally think Josh Taylor's gonna move up weight, which he actually already has come out and said. He said he's never fighting at 140 again, so he's moving to 147. But I think he'll be fighting Terence Crawford next. Terence Crawford's a world-class fighter, so is Josh Taylor. I'm pretty sure it'll be a great match, but what, what happens to Jack Cottrell next? Um, 
let's face it, none of the organisations are going to do a review or anything on the match. He's probably, if he's lucky, going to get to fight for one of the four belts that he fought for on the weekend. And him fighting for one of the four, in reality, it's just not, it's just not acceptable. Think about how low his morale is going to be, the fact that he's at a effectively not fight for what he's supposed to be fighting for it's bad it's very bad in my opinion um but yeah that's if he's lucky he'll get to fight for one of the four belts um his stocks definitely have risen over the weekend and um i say good luck to him and i say good luck to josh taylor as well they're both world-class fighters um josh has achieved more than what 99.5 percent of fighters have achieved I, I didn't make this video to try and slag him off or anything He's a world-class fighter, but I just don't think he beat Jack Cottrell. That's not just my opinion. That's, I believe, 99% of people who watch the fight's opinion as well. How about you guys now? Um, let me know what you guys think should happen, what you guys think will happen, and um, let me know in the comments. Remember, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it from The Prince. Peace.